Welcome to part 10. Now I'm going to start making that uh, nubbin bit. So we'll just choose a cylinder 3D and we're going to use this as the base the base mesh. So down to initialize and um, we will set this to 16 and we'll bring this down and back up now and make poly mesh 3D. And turn our floor back on, and we'll just size it down. And we'll just clip the top off it. We'll start with the um, this part down here. So we'll uh, move it down into position. Just size it up there to where pretty much where we want to be, and I'm gonna just make it not as quite as tall. Bring it down and go over to our Z model brush and scale edge loop complete, and we we'll just scale that out a bit. And now we can inset these faces here. So inset flat island. And we'll inset that in. And now we're gonna break that off. So Q mesh and start Q meshing. Sorry, I just wanna make sure that is on polygroup island. Q mission and hold control. Right, so now we'll take that um, newly cloned bit of geometry there and uh, gonna Q mesh that down. Um, Q mesh it down once and just line it up then with our uh, with our reference. So there and I'm gonna just insert the nose loop through the middle there and then we're gonna just um, scale this in scale that in through there and do the same then for the top and Do the same again as we already did, and we'll break this off. So, I'm gonna inset that first, inset flat island, and then Q mesh and hold control to break it off, <coughs> and Q mesh it out again. And then we can just uh, well, we won't do the inset, we might just do the scale. Right, so we'll just uh, shape these up. Firstly, I'm going to add a bevel. Uh, two rows. <coughs> just bevel that there. And we might as well, while we're here, just going to delete the flat island. Then I think I'll just turn off the floor for a minute and scale is loop complete. And we'll just sorry, we'll just insert one here first, insert there, and scale and just scale that in. And then we can insert this. Right, so that's pretty much um. <coughs> the basic shape we need. I'm just we may, might just insert one here and here, and then we can just scale these out as well. So I'll scale that one, and then just click to repeat that last action. So now um, we want to add some uh, some detail into this. So the bottom one is, is 
is pretty much straightforward. We can probably just bevel and bevel this with two rows. Just bevel that with two rows. And then we'll just insert a loop here. And I want to uh, switch over to select rectangle. And then we're going to just hide these for a second. And I'll delete these. So I'll delete Flat Island. Bring everything back. And for whatever reason, it didn't delete them. Strange, they're still there. This is very strange. Hang on a second. Oh, sorry, that was the other one, I think. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was the other one. So, I'll just hide this. I'll just hide this, hold Alt, and then delete Flat Island. Delete Flat Island. Bring everything back. And now, um, if I just said that, and there's that the weird UV thing from one of the lessons earlier on. I think we mentioned it, where um, when you start from a a, pr a three D poly primitive, <coughs> it automatically has UVs. So when you start uh, Manipulate and it ruins the UVs, and you just come down here to UV and delete UVs and continue on as normal. Then, um, so we'll put the sub this up to four, and uh, the top and the top could probably be a bit sharper. So I'm gonna just, um, yeah, I'll just insert another edge loop here just to sharpen that up. Maybe another one here. Yeah, just to sharpen that up. And same in the bottom. Just that one right down there. Yep, that's what we want. And now, I'm just going to hide the other two, because they're pretty much done. And now we'll work on this one. See what we want to do with it here, so uh, um, might just let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think I'll just um, see what symmetry we're working in. Working in X there, so I want to just change to uh, Z symmetry and walk across here. Um, I'm gonna just put onto onto local symmetry there because it's not on the um, on the floor here. It's not in the center of the world here, so we can just use um we can just use local symmetry. Just putting over here, and let me see. So we will maybe tag these faces. We can put X on as well. Tag these. Oh, I didn't want these. So yeah, I think um, yeah, we didn't want. That's why we didn't want them. So now we're going to just uh, Q mesh this, Q mesh a single poly. Sorry, I'm going to turn off um, X symmetry. And just once, twice, making sure to go onto poly group island. And maybe three times. Uh, maybe the last time we'll just do an inset polygroup island and 
and set that there. And then maybe try um, an inflate. I haven't really used inflate yet, so I'll inflate a polygroup island. And that just pushes everything out along the normal, it's the same as the inflate brush. And now I also want to add some edge loop one here and oh, it's adding it there now we can get rid of that in a minute and uh, maybe one here oops there's one in here and we'll just turn off the uh, symmetry and just get rid of those ones that we don't want Sorry, just do that UV thing again. We have to bring everything back in order to use dynamic subdivision. Now it's got that weird UV thing happening, so. Well, what's happening there? Usually you can just um, delete the UV map um, and continue on as normal. So maybe if I just. Create a map, maybe. No. I, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to pause this and figure out what's going on because I've never come across that before. I usually, when delete the UV map. Uh, okay, I'll be back in a Right, that um, wasn't actually that UV issue I was talking about. It was, um, it was some non-manifold non geometry. So the geometry got a bit messed up because I did a couple of extrusions with an open hole here and uh, I tried to fix it using this fixed mesh but uh, it didn't work so um, what we're going to do is we're just going to um, uh, temporarily close that hole just close out close that hole there and then um, I'm just going to auto group and we'll uh, work on again there and do what we did already and then we can delete this after the fact so if I turn on symmetry again and we'll tag these tag these again it might have been something to do with the local symmetry as well I'm not too sure so we'll try this again Q mesh single poly and once change it over to um, Polygon Island uh, twice and then we're going to just inset this and then we're going to use Inflate on the Polygroup Island again and bring everything back now and it's uh, it's grand now. It's working now the way the way we we would expect it to be working. So we'll just hide them again, and we'll add in our um, support loops here. So we'll just add a nice tight one in there, and. thing we want to do here is just to sharpen this up a bit more I'm just going to inset this once more and that will just help to uh, give it a, a sharper edge there and we can then um, just going to auto groups again and now I think I will see I'm just gonna add 
that in. Insert in here. And now I think it's time to delete this flat island. I'll turn off symmetry. And um, sorry, delete flat island. I'm still alright there. delete this as well. And now we get rid of these unneeded edges. And maybe what sort of detail can we put in here now? There's one other thing I might like to do here and that is I'm gonna just um go to poly group poly loop and make sure that to follow the direction of the loop your um you see the little orange line it's facing in the direction that you want the loop running so now I just need to add in one more edge loop there tie in and one more there I'm gonna just do it. Close holes again. Auto groups and hide these. Might we'll just do that again. We didn't have to go back too far. I'm gonna um, run this operation here again with the um, poly group, poly loop. Um, sorry, I'll just turn on symmetry. Was already on poly group poly loop and Q mesh Q mesh poly group island once twice and now do the same thing again. Sorry. <laughs> Use a mask and we'll mask these again. And bevel. Um this time can you choose how many you want to do? No, I thought you might be able to choose, but um three rows would have been the handiest. But you can't you can only do two too far away unfortunately so I'll just to go four and um, I don't know what's going on there it's going weird right for some reason um <laughs> that's beyond me um just for uh, when the other when the other uh, parts uh, when the other geometry was hidden basically it was when I beveled it was just um, creating a hole in the mesh, but it's working now again uh, when the when the geometry is visible. So um, we're going to go with this, and we'll come in here and do the same thing here, and we just tag tag these faces. Just want to check now and see if it's since it wasn't the symmetry, we can tag these. So they're just weird sort of things sometimes that you get in ZBrush. You just have to kind of walk around and see if you can sort them out. So Q mesh a poly. Once. And then we want to Q mesh poly group island. And maybe click this. Click that. And see what it looks like. Bit better than the last one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort that out between lessons. I'm going to make them much wider. So, in the meantime, all we have to do here is I'm going to unmask that. And I'm just going to I'm 
blast that out. And we'll just move this invert the mask. We'll just move this up inside it. And we'll mask this one. Invert the mask. And move that down over the top. Because we're gonna um Sorry, there's just a mosquito flying around me there. <laughs> um, we're going to just take a mask off that section. Oh, Jesus. Right, I'm just going to draw mask. Bring everything back. <laughs> Sorry, there's a bloody mosquito. Sorry, there's a mosquito. <laughs> Mosquito flying around me here. I'm gonna try that again. So we're gonna uh, control click, control shift click to isolate that. Control click on the canvas to master, and control click again to bring everything back, and then control click to invert the mask. And We'll move that down because we're going to clip the top of that. And as I say, I'm going to adjust this in between lessons. So one other thing I'd like to do is I'm just going to um, create a little bit of detail here on this. So our symmetry still on. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to just. Uh, Like the Z modeler, tag these, insert them, insert polygroup island, insert it once, twice, and three times. Lady, um, Q mesh, Q mesh polygroup island once, twice. <laughs> I won't use that joke again. And this time I'm gonna just uh, go to scale, edge loop complete, and scale that in a bit. And Q mesh it out. And scale it right in. <coughs> Sorry, just uh, the bloody mosquito still. Still after me. I'll go back in with that once, twice, <coughs> and have a look at that. Right, so as I say, that's pretty much that. Um, and I am going to between lessons just change this because I don't like it. I'm going to make those strips wider, and uh, in the next lesson then. What's the next lesson? Oh yeah, we'll just uh, create the, the bits on the very top there of the uh, main body of the gun. They're just kind of boxy shapes, so we'll see in the next lesson. Alright, cheers. Thanks. Good luck.